think I'd describe my work as representing nature through these animals we know really well. Nature red in tooth and claw, not the soft kind of spring watch angle we get on nature. I started being an artist, I think, very, very young. You know, it was one of the first things I did. It's the first thing I remember. And then I went on to be known as the artist at school, as I think probably most artists are. And I wandered a bit into fashion design, and then I came back to it. But it's, all, it's always been there, really. Obviously, nature inspires me. Um, I think it's overlooked greatly at the moment. We live in a world where everything's very metropolitan. The countryside doesn't really figure that much, I don't think. But just, I, I just think um, everything really all filters through. Comics, music, picture books are the first things I remember. I've still got probably most of the books. I didn't have many as a child. Anything, not just fine art. My fascination with animals, I don't know, that I started doing the animals oh, about five years ago, almost as a joke if I'm honest. I think the original idea was to do something that was genuine to me, rather than something that I thought would be arty or fashionable. And I've always loved children's books, and it was, um, they've grown out of that, and I really love them now. They, they, I can put anything on them, and people read really odd things into them as well, which is great. I love the way people see different things in them. The latest pieces I'm doing are called Faith, Hope and Charity. I just did that because I'm into big themes at the moment and to represent them with a bunny rabbit or something is quite an odd idea and people will read all sorts into that, so I just like that at the moment. The idea came to me when I was working on the Fox piece earlier this year and he was armed and then I thought, oh, that's a nice image. Then I was painstakingly drawing in some bullet holes in the background, which is a bit of a cliche, but anyway. And then I thought, well, you know, what would be more interesting is to actually do it. And then also that each one, I really like chance in art, and each one would be totally unique because there's very limited control in what pellets will do when they're shot out of a gun. So each one is totally unique. There's only one of each, and that's it. You'll get one with a hole here, a hole there. Sometimes the animals get shot, sometimes they don't. I like that. I said, interesting idea I think so um that's what we're going to continue with for the next three pieces I think. I think I define art as the best use of time for me personally um, obviously I could be doing something better like a doctor but I can't see that's very likely or something more worthy but I think um, it's probably the best thing I could do.